Hello, fourth grade. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick what we're doing in Mrs. Mosier's class. Uh, we're doing these little heart designs. and just going to show you real quick what, we're di what we did in class. This is the canvas board. Uh, here's a little sample of one that I did. Um, what we're thinking about doing is what we're doing is using a, a warm color and a cool, cool color and a warm color mix. So what that means is if you do a warm color in the foreground, you're going to want to do a cool color in the background. Reverse is true. You could do a cool color in the foreground and a warm color in the background. So real quick, we used, uh, um, in our class, we used paints and we used acrylic paints. You can use those if you want or you can use uh, whatever you can get your hands on. Acrylic paint works great and um, poster paints will work fine too. Uh, you can even do them with markers. So what I did is uh, we just picked some colors out. So maybe I'll pick this time. I'll put, uh, I'll get some yellow and we just painted around the edge and we call this edging. I painted around the edge and we can mix colors together to kind of create an interesting kind of shade. So um, I have the color wheel here because it's important to look at. If you ever want to mix colors for shading, uh, a couple things you could do. Uh, one, you could add a little bit of black to it, which I would recommend uh, you do for darker colors, not for things like uh, yellow and, and orange. And then or you can add uh, white to it and I'll show you how that works to create a shade. I'm sorry, not a shade, but a highlight. Um, so when you, when you do shade, make sure you clean your brush off really good. And then, um, so what I'm going to do now is just get some white and put this right in here and blend this in to the yellow. Now this is, you can only do this if you're painting. Um, and then what I'm going to do is clean off my brush. Um, and then I'm going to take my brush with no paint on it and blend the white into the yellow and it creates this neat little shaded look. I can also take a little bit of the color next to yellow on the color wheel. So yellow is here, orange is here. I can take a little bit. Uh, you got to do this when it's wet so you got to kind of work fast. Um, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of orange and if I take that orange and go down and you can even do this on just one side if you want. Now what I do is the, the important part here is uh, cleaning your brush off when you're done and then only having water on your brush to blend this in. So now I'm just going to go in and blend this in and it gives it that really cool looking effect. Um, so you can do that on both sides. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I'm going to run out of video time. So uh, I'm going to pick a cool color in the background. Uh, you can use some white too. I could take a purple if I wanted to and add some white to it and uh, to create a different color. So that's, a, that's still a cool color even though there's added white to it. And then you're going to want to edge again and paint. Also make sure that you paint the side edge of yours. It's kind of like three dimensional. You want to paint the side edge. All right. So when you're going over, I'm, I'm painting on a flat piece of paper, but uh, go ahead and paint on a flat edge, the side of the edge. I'm going to paint this in the background. And what you can do if you do something like this is you can do some more shading. Please do a better job than I'm doing. I'm just trying to do this quick because my video is going to uh, take all the memory out of my computer and I won't be able to share this video. So I'm just going to go through and just imagine that I did the whole thing like this. Uh, I'm going to go back to my purple that I made and I'm just going to go around on the outside and you just kind of, you know, kind of add that to it and you can kind of shade it in like that. That's kind of cool to do. You could do the same thing with black if you were doing a darker color. But, um, and if it does just start to dry out, you can always add a little bit of water if you're painting. Uh, if you're doing a marker, you're, not, you're probably not going to be able to do this. Um, not the project, but you're not going to be able to blend, uh, which is fine. You can still do some cool things there. Maybe do a pattern on the back or whatever. You could do a pattern on the front or maybe some polka dots even too if you wanted to um, on the heart or in the background. Um, so once we're done, let's say this is all painted, the, the thing that we want to do is we want this heart to look like it's standing out. So what I'm going to do is take my uh, black and you can do this with a marker too and we're just going to go in nice crisp edge right along the edge. Now if it's dry, it's, uh, it's going to be harder to blend in. But I'm going to do is, I call this edging. We've talked to the kids about edging before um, in class. And basically that's just drawing that black line right up against the edge. Um, and then I'm going to come back and, and kind of blend this in. At the top here, I'm just going to get thin and get a little thicker down here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush off really quick. Hopefully it's still uh, 
hopefully the paint's still dry, not dry, but hopefully it's still wet. Clean my brush out. When it's black, it gets dirty really fast. And I'm going to try to go in and blend this in. Still had some paint on there. Oh, geez, I just stuck it in orange. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this out. Maybe I'll just take the other brush out. I'm going to do that. And then all I'm going to do is just touch this black. You don't want to do too much blending. But you see how I just kind of touched it? And that blends that in. Um, and then if you still need to go back and kind of refine the black edge, that's fine. So that's how you do it, kids. That's how you do the, the heart project. And then once you're done, let it dry. Um, and like I said, you can do some things in the background too if you wanted to. I really didn't share that with the other kids, so. Um, but you can. Um, I could put, uh, you know, I could put a little circle back here and some dots, um, things like that, if you had some extra time on your hands. And um, that would look kind of neat too. All right, so that's up to you. Um, Hopefully you have fun with that and uh, make sure it's dry and make sure you put your name on it. Okay? Have, have fun.